Hey guys, Drew from GeoArm here again to talk to you about the MNO2-LTE from M2M and its connection to the Honeywell Vista 20P for both communications and interactive. This also applies to the Vista 15P. Uh, the, there's a few other models, but specifically the Vista series. Um, if you uh, are wiring for communications and for interactive, this is your video. So uh, go ahead and get your M2M MNO2-LTE and uh, get it uh, connected to its antenna, like so here. Screw it right on to the connection here. That's ready to rock now. Uh, as you can see, the antenna is magnetized, so you can set it outside the box or you can put it inside the box, top of the box, wherever you want to put it. Uh, just make sure that uh, you have it connected. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and get this connected. Prior to doing this, make sure to power down your security system entirely. Backup battery and power supply. Um, just go ahead and do that just to avoid anything happening. Nothing is going to happen to you, by the way. It's very low voltage, but it could definitely fry the panel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this uh, wired in for power first. So. Uh, we're going to be going to terminals 4 and 5 here. Terminals 4 and 5, uh, respectively, ground, or aux minus, I'm sorry, and aux plus on 5, uh, we're, uh, are, are going to already have wires in them, uh, more than likely keypads or zone expanders or whatever else the case may be uh, that is uh, needing to utilize aux power. So we're going to take the black wire. The black wire is going to be wiring into aux minus, which is terminal number 4. And then you're going to go ahead and get that screwed down. Now there's going to be other wires in there, as I said. Go ahead and put this in there along with it. Uh, make sure to screw it down tight. Make sure all the other connections are still made in there. Nothing slips out. Uh, now we're going to take the red wire and we're going to get that into terminal number five, like so. Super easy to do. You just slide it underneath the little plate here uh, that the screw has. Um, if it doesn't have a plate, just kind of get it wrapped around the screw and then get the screw tightened down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wire in for communications, which is going to be the yellow and green wire. So we're going to take the, uh, the green wire and we're going to wire that one to terminal 24, like so. So green to 24, which is ring. And then we're going to take the yellow wire and that is going to be going to 23, which is tip. Now, if these terminals, uh, 21, 22, 23, and 24 on the Vista panels, have wires going into them currently for phones, so uh, T1, R1, tip, and ring, if those four terminals have anything in them, take the wires out of there because this is the only thing that needs to be connected at this point. Now, we're gonna go ahead and wire it for the interactive application. You're gonna take the white wire. The white wire is gonna be going to terminal number six. There probably are gonna be some green wires or something similar like that in this slot already. As I said, don't remove those. Just screw this down in there along with it. Uh, number seven is gonna be the orange wire. You're just gonna take that and put that in there. If there's wires in seven, which there will be, don't take them out. Just put this in there along with it. At this point, all connections from the M2M have been made. We have power, which is red and black. We have the data connection for interactive, which is here, six and seven, which is the white and orange wire. Then we have the communications at tip and ring here, 23 and 24, which is the yellow and green wire. At this point, you're ready to get your M2M activated for uh, communications and for the interactive app. We're gonna need you to give us the serial number, which is located right on the top. It's a six digit number. Also, do not forget when you get this device, you're going to get a manual, and in this manual is going to have your username and your password to get logged into the R Control app. Do not forget to document this, save this. This has also got other helpful bits of information on getting this thing wired in, backfed, etc., uh, through the panel. Um, and uh, of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to uh, leave a message down below, and uh, we will get right back with you. Um, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Uh, once again, this is how to wire the Honeywell Vista. Uh, with the M2M for both communications and uh, the interactive app. Take care, guys. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.